if you weigh more than 250 pounds and you want to lose a substantial amount of weight, but every time you get started, you just find it really hard to stay consistent. You want to follow a diet, but you only go for a few days, maybe even a few hours, and you just give up right away. What about when you want to go work out and someone invites you to go exercise or you just want to go do stuff with your family, but every time you get going, you feel unmotivated to go simply because you feel like you can't do what you're trying to do. Like you can't go hiking, you don't have the energy to go swimming, your feet are gonna hurt, you're standing on your feet a long time at work, so the last thing you wanna do is go and do a workout. This video is for you because we understand exactly where you're at right now and where you wanna go. Calvin, could you just tell them what it was like when you were over 300 pounds? Because if you guys don't know who we are, my name's Angelo. My name is Calvin. We are the Vision Twins and we lost a combined 300 pounds. Now it is our life mission to show the entire world how to do the same thing. And how I felt when I was over 300 pounds, man, I can remember literally smelling like crap every single day, just smelly because I just weighed so much and I had so much stench built up on my clothes. And when you're that big, you are lazy. Like you don't want to wash your clothes. You don't want to have nice things. You don't want to be able to dress clean. Like when mm -hmm. I was over 300 pounds, I couldn't dress like this. And it's crazy because nowadays they actually have clothes that fit big people like this. But when we were over 300 pounds, they didn't have nice clothes like this. So if you've been struggling with your weight for a long time now, having clean clothes or having a nice fit that is available to everybody. You understand that. You understand, yeah, because that's something that wasn't available and to I us wanna, then. Yeah, I wanna talk about that point a little bit later on, like about why should they make bigger clothes or nicer clothes for bigger people compared to just, for us, it felt like we were getting forced to lose weight. So instead of like looking at it as a way to complain, we found out, okay, like screw it, let's lose weight to get into these nice clothes. But that's a there's, totally different topic there's a whole pay, There's a payoff, yeah. there's a payoff to actually having nicer clothes is that you have to lose weight in order to get into those clothes. And they look good on that body type, but that's another subject for another day. We'll talk about that in another video. But for right now, we wanted to tell the person watching this video and actually just show you how to go from over 300 pounds to looking healthy, looking sexy, feeling confident by yourself. So it always starts off, number one, before you do anything in life, this is the number one thing that you have to get in your mind if you want to even have a chance at making a change. Because you could try it and you still probably won't make it. That's just life sometimes. That's just Sometimes it happens like that. But this is the one thing that you need to do in order to make a change. And that number one step is believe. You have to believe that it's absolutely possible for you to win that situation, to get through that circumstance, to do what it, to, to be the person that knows that it can happen for them. If you can't believe it, if you literally cannot get it in your mind that it's possible for you to have, possible for it to happen for you, you're not gonna do anything to make a change. It doesn't matter if you can have the right diet, the right workouts, the perfect plan. The perfect plan, none of that matters. You can have the cure to cancer, but if you don't believe that it's gonna help you, then you won't be healed. And maybe they have the cure for you, but if you just don't believe that it works, you're not even gonna go to the hospital building to do the thing to, to get healed. You're just not even gonna try. And that was one of the hardest things for us was to believe that it was possible. No matter, when there was no reason for us to believe it. When you're 350 pounds laying with a bag of Funyuns and crumbs in your bed and you're smoking a blunt and it's freaking dark inside your room and there's no motivation to get changed, you have no reason to believe it. You have to be a little bit like, it sounds crazy to say delusional, but it's not delusion. Because either way, whatever you're believing, you're making it up. You're just living it constantly because you keep believing that. So if you believe something different, you're gonna start doing different things, giving you different outcomes, and now your life is based on this whole like imaginary thing you played in your head when I was 350 pounds, like right here standing now, it's I imagine, I, I believe this it's, person into existence. I didn't just work for it. Yeah, working for it does the thing, but you have to believe first. You have to literally have an idea of what you want to become. And you'll find yourself moving towards that, no matter what. Be the do, and then once you can be do it, you can have it. So we are living proof that you can have the body that you want. And a lot of people are like, in this society that we live in nowadays, don't even care to have it because it's so normal for everybody to be overweight, it's so yeah. normal for everybody to be obese, but there are very few people who are out there who are actually living transformations on the body that an over overweight person would want to live in. You know what's crazy, Calvin? I was at the store earlier and I was like, literally the number one thing I've thought about for maybe the last five years is how I look. Like I just genuinely want to feel and look like the best version of myself. And I realized like that's not something most people think about. Like I am so, mm -hmm. I don't wanna say like obsessed or like self-absorbed, but I really do like, 
think about how I look 90% of the day. And of course, like, that's not the most important thing. Like, everybody knows, like, family, friends, like, having a life, doing all that stuff. I get all of that. But I'm talking about for me personally, like, for me to have a good day, I need to, <laughs> one, feel like I've pushed myself in a workout. Two, I need to at least have one time in my day where I look at myself and I'm just like, ooh. Yeah, you look good. Like, just like a really appreciating the work that I put in mm -hmm. because it's so easy to say, oh, that's so vanity metric and that doesn't matter. But like, think about it. You're doing it with what you want to do. You're probably playing video games and scoring high levels on that. <laughs> and it's like, I'm not sitting here. I'm not, <laughs> not even saying that. I'm not even saying that in a bad yeah, way. Yeah, sure, but it's like, sure. you find that awesome. Like, that's great. I yeah. don't find that awesome. I find being a healthy version of myself, being sexy, feeling confident, loving the way I look, being able to talk to people. Those are things that I really value. And so there's nothing wrong with playing video games and doing all that stuff. You're just going in a different direction than me. And we can have the results similar to each other as long as we're doing the things that get us to where we want to go. I just don't want to do that, so I'm not going to get those results. If you start doing the results that I do, you're going to find yourself really loving yourself and being confident and sexy. And then we got to get to the emotional part, but that's like another part of the video. How you feel is also really important. But right now, I think the most- Having the body. Have it for me, just- knowing that I'm putting in the work to have this body because it ain't easy, that's like my, that's my reward most of the time at the end of the day. Yeah, so literally like what you just said, going to the grocery store and seeing the common person who doesn't physically look like they care about how they look 24-7. Yeah, like they don't, they don't think like, why don't I us, make myself look sexy? Like for, for us, me, it's like, it's, I'm it's, gonna- For them, it may be like, five minutes when they look into the mirror or maybe like 30 seconds they when, they, we don't, when they wash their hands and they look and they're like, Okay. And like trying to like, ignore it. Like, that's you! Like, this is you! Like, this, that is your body. Like, how do, you cannot ignore what you see in the mirror. Like, we look in the mirror maybe at least 30, 30, 30, 30, minutes to, 30 minutes to an hour of our day is spent looking in the mirror. Oh, I do that every night. Like, I'll stand in front of the mirror and just be looking at myself like, fuck, you are a good looking motherfucker. Because for so long, I didn't get to feel that way. And so now looking at this body that you, when you put in some work into a body and you actually love what you've made, it hits different than if you just got some surgery. That shit don't matter. You literally laid in a bed and let someone do something to you and get you these results. Like that's cheap, that ain't gonna last. You can't outrun the work. And the moments I know I feel so proud of this is because if I'm in a CrossFit workout and I'm doing cleans or I'm doing pull-ups, I'm like, fuck, you can't run from this shit. Like you cannot yeah. avoid this work. This is the work to get this body. And I've put in the work and I know it's worth it. So I know I have, I'm different. Like just in that realm right there, when I'm going through the assault bike and I'm pushing, ah, oh fuck, I wanna quit so bad. But it's like, do you wanna quit? Or do you wanna have that body? And when I'm looking in that mirror, I'm like, I'm so glad I didn't quit out. I didn't weak out. I pushed through it. I feel amazing. I love this body and I, you can't run from the work. No matter diet, exercise, you cannot run from the work. So stop trying to run from the work and get the quick result you ain't even the person that believes that you can have it yet. So only a fool tries to go for the results without being the person that the results just naturally come to. You feel what I'm saying? It makes sense. You feel what I'm saying? You're picking up you when I'm putting believe down. It. Once you believe it, everything else will flow within that. Literally, start looking at yourself very often. Don't get obsessed and like start judging your shit. Look at where you're at and find areas of improvement and then go work on those things. And every weak spot of your life that, your life that you have an insecurity about, You've worked on it, so now you have no more insecurities. You've literally fixed every part of you that needed to be fixed since you were a child. And now you're a whole person, you're a whole being, living life. And, and so, will, will, yeah, you ever, will you ever be perfect? That's a great, great question to ask. I think as you're we, perfect as, already. As we end this video, you are already perfect. God created every person in his image, so you are already a perfect being. But the fact that there is things that you don't know and places that you can go and a body that you can achieve that you're not at yet, that is something that we should be striving for and something that is a gift for us to go out and live this life and go out to achieve for. So. Some fine tuning, there's need, yeah. get some fine tuning done. Like you don't just drive your car once and never change the oil, you never put the gas in. No, you get the car and you always putting some maintenance onto it. You always mm -hmm. working, you always fixing it. Bumps happen, shit happens. You hit a pothole, back window breaks out. Like. You're gonna have to replace some things sometimes, and your life is just like that, your body's just like that. Stuff happens, your confidence gets shot, you gotta go replace that. Well, most people don't know how to replace that confidence with something. 
And we're telling you right now, it's by taking action. And number one, number one, believing who you're supposed to be, two, taking action, so that three, you can have the results of taking action and believing in yourself. So now it feels solid, it felt, feels concrete, it feels like, now nah, this is it. Nobody can tell me what it isn't because I know what I did to put it here, to get to this point. Nobody can tell us what it isn't because we already know what it is. <laughs> you do, you did crack and you kill me. <laughs> hey, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Let's go.